Hey guys, my name is Ian Anthony Coleman and I'm a part of Roundhouse Theater's education team. And this is our theater challenge for teens today. At Roundhouse, we teach that telling theatrical stories requires acting, movement, design, and playmaking. And today's challenge is all about acting. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the challenge, which is monologuing a song. And then I'm gonna challenge you to create your own and to post it using the hashtag RHTeenChallenge. Let's see what kind of theater we can create. Okay guys, so today's challenge is super fun and super simple. And best of all, you really don't need anything but just a few of your actor tools, specifically your voice, your mind, and of course, your imagination. Now, on to today's challenge. Monologuing a song. We're asking you to take one of your favorite songs and present the verse and the chorus as a traditional monologue that you might find in a play. Super fun. Now, there are a few rules. When you're preparing this piece, we want you to still approach it like you would any other monologue. So we want you to examine the given circumstances of the character that you're gonna try to play. So you have to answer these questions, write them down. Who are you? Where are you right now? And why are you there? How are you feeling or behaving? Okay, so write those things down and write down the answers to those questions. You can always shift around those answers and it can definitely help you come up with new interpretations for the piece that you're creating. Now, try not to speak in a rhythm or a cadence that you are probably used to since it's your favorite song. So you're used to hearing it and singing the words and having them line up a certain way. Throw all that out the window and start from scratch and pretend like that music doesn't exist and try to perform this like it's a traditional monologue in a play, okay? Also, there's probably gonna be some times when you're performing when the thought just kind of shifts so abruptly because the text is not written to be performed like a monologue. It's gonna be your job as an actor to come up with different tactics to justify why these abrupt changes in thoughts are happening, okay? Lastly, when you're recording your monologue, I want you to slate traditionally. Now, if you don't know what slating is, it's where you introduce yourself and you introduce the piece that you're working on. So here's a good slate for you to use. You'll say, my name is, then you'll say your name, and this is, the name of the song you're performing, made famous by the name of the artist who performs the song. Hey, I'll give you an example. Hello, my name is Ian Anthony Coleman, and this is Don't Stop Now, made famous by Dua Lipa. I did a full 180, crazy, just think about the way I was. Did the heartbreak change me? Maybe, but look at where I ended up. I mean, I'm all good already. So moved on, it's, it's scary. I'm not where you left me at all. So if you don't wanna see me dancing with somebody, if, if you wanna believe that anything could stop me, don't show up, don't come out, don't start caring about me now. Walk away. You know how? Don't start caring about me now. All right, all right, all right. Now it's your turn. We challenge you to monologue a song and to share it with us using the hashtag RHTeenChallenge. Now make sure to follow Roundhouse on social media and to tag us in the post because we'll be featuring some of our favorite submissions on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter next Tuesday. <laughs> if you have any ideas for challenges that you wanna see in the future, then write them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe to Roundhouse's YouTube channel for brand new art challenges every single week. Have fun and see you next Friday. Hey.